I'd like to tell another story about Dr. Frederick Bedeker, my friend up here on the wall, whose ministry spanned all of Europe and wonderful stories how the Lord opened up the prisons to him in that great country of Russia. He represented the British Bible Society and handed out thousands of Bibles and shared the gospel. It was through contact with a Russian princess that he was given the open sesame to all of these prisons. Let me read a couple of verses to you. First of all, Peter speaking to Cornelius, he says to him, that is to Christ, give all the prophets witness that through his name, whoever believes in him will receive remission of sins. Now, you can't get any simpler than that. To him, give all the prophets witness. Let me just give you one example. Micah chapter 7, verse 18. Who is a God like you, pardoning iniquity? He does not retain his anger forever because he delights in mercy. Now, this particular story in the biography of Dr. Bedeker tells about him visiting a town called Kichiniev in Bessarabia. Bessarabia was the region between Romania and the Ukraine. It's now known as Moldova. And he traveled to that prison, and the governor of the prison received him warmly, had a little rest at his home, and then they traveled over to this massive prison. He said the walls were five feet thick, four massive round towers. And when they went in, there were cells and then stairs down into the dungeons where these men in solitary confinement were surrounded by vermin. It was just a terrible situation. In any case, they brought in Russians, Jews, Moldovians, Romanians, and so on. And he had the opportunity to distribute Bibles and to explain the gospel. He had a translator who was able to help, although he himself spoke Russian and German, as well as, um, I think, French and English. So, in any way, as the conversation went on, the governor said to him, we have a murderer here down in the dungeon, never gets any visits, of course, um, would you be interested? And he said, yes, I would. I'd like to meet this man. And so they went down into this dark stairway down underneath the castle and came to this desperate soul who was in this dungeon. Dr. Bedeker offered him a Bible and he said, I'm sorry, I can't read. Such a desperate situation. The Dr. Bedeker said, well, here then, this is the ideal thing for you. And he pulled out a copy of the wordless book. If you haven't seen it, it's simply different colors of blank pages. There's a black page, and there's a red page, and there's a white page, and a green page, and a gold page. And he handed it to the prisoner, and the prisoner said, well, what does this mean? I can't understand it. And uh, Dr. Bedeker said to him, this is the message you need to hear. And it's right on these pages and you can read it. Let me read it to you. And so he began to explain how the black page speaks of the darkness of sin, the darkness of our souls without the light of the gospel and the sin that has brought us into judgment against God. And when he went to that red page, he talked about the blood of Christ the blood of Christ that cleanseth us from all sin. And then to the white page, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. And he explained to that poor man in that dark dungeon that there was hope for him, there was a savior for him, and he could be made whiter than snow. Then turning to the green page, he spoke about how the Holy Spirit would move into his heart. And even in that dark place, the Spirit would begin to teach him 
glorious things. He would share now the life of Christ and begin to grow, even in the dark. In that dungeon, he would begin to grow because it was the fruit of the Spirit that was going to be produced in his life. And finally, the gold, that someday, even if he never left this cell alive, he had been promised a glorious home in heaven if he would put his trust in the Savior. And tears ran down those rough cheeks of that man. The author says, unfamiliar tears rolled down his cheeks as he heard the gospel and realized that even there, in a seemingly hopeless situation where he couldn't even read the Bible, here in the wordless book was the answer to his desperate need. And Dr. Bedeker expected to meet that man in heaven. What a glorious thing it is. Oh, how simple and how sure, how certain is the gospel. There's no reason for anyone not to understand. The Lord Jesus himself said that you have to become as a little child to understand, to take it in. The faith of a child, simple response of faith to the clear and certain word of God. Whoever believes in him will receive remission of sins. Who is a God like you? pardoning iniquity, who does not retain his anger forever because he delights in mercy. <laughs>